No doubt the novel coronavirus changed everything, including everything sports. What happens next with the NFL is up in the air. It changed the draft. It changed the offseason. It changed the way players and coaches get ready. News for Jack's Jags sports analyst and former Jags quarterback Mark Brunel joins me here on the phone. Mark, the NFL is in an unprecedented place right now. Just found out the draft is going to go on, but in a virtual way. And there are some who say that this gives some teams an unwanted advantage. What do you think? Well, good morning, Bruce. And, and uh, that very well could be true. Um, it really comes down to the ability of each team to evaluate with, uh, without being able to get in front of these prospects. Um, obviously, the pro day, many pro days were canceled. Uh, you, you cannot have a, uh, a prospect in the building and get a chance to meet with him one-on-one and really get to know him. So uh, some teams are probably better at, at evaluating without being uh, fully present for, for, a, for a workout or, or time with an individual. Uh, only time will tell, but I imagine each team is, is uh, going through a tough time trying to figure out how in the world they're going to decide if that player uh, is a good fit for the organization. If you were in Roger Goodell's office, would you have postponed the draft? You know, that's a, that's a great question. Um, I don't... I, I probably would have Bruce at least give it a month, uh, but at least everyone's on the uh, on a level playing field. And uh, um, I think even if it was if if it could have been put off to um, you know for a few months, then you're getting close to the season. A lot of unknowns there. I mean, unless you're in Rogers' shoes, it's tough to make that decision. But uh, uh, the draft is going to be the same day, and and uh, hopefully the Jaguars will figure out a way to evaluate these guys and and. and Find the guys that are going to help this team get back on its feet. And speaking of the Jaguars, I know you have got the, uh, the the players' ears. How are they training? How are they staying fit? Well, honestly, Bruce, the, 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 these guys are professional athletes. Uh, staying fit is not a problem. They're working out. Um, they're. Uh, I'm sure the quarterbacks are throwing. The receivers are 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 catching a little bit. Now, obviously, they they're not together, at least in in in, in a lot of numbers. But as far as Staying in shape, lifting weights, running. These guys are all, all doing that. Uh, what you're missed out on is, you know, OTAs would be coming up here uh, in the next few weeks. You miss valuable practice time together. When you're a team that hasn't done a lot of winning, uh, those practice days are critical. So to not have those, the OTAs, the, the mini camps, that really sets you back. That's where the Jaguars are at a disadvantage. Being an organization that has, that has lost a lot of games, you need those practice days. And the fact that the team's not together, that really hurts. Yeah, that, that was going to be my next point. With, with no OTAs, they're not going to be able to coalesce a, a, as a team. A, and that's going to be particularly hard for Gardner Minshew, who is going to be tasked with leading this team as quarterback. It's a great point, Bruce. And, and uh, if, there, if there was a team that needed these OTAs, it was the Jaguars. If there's a quarterback that needed these, these OTAs, uh, it's Gardner Minshew, uh, not just his, his, not just the X's and O's of being on the field, just being a uh, figuring out how to be a better leader uh, around these guys. And so, um, and it's different when you've got a team that has like an Aaron Rodgers or a Drew Brees. You're not worried about the thing. You know these guys are going to show up and, and during the season. They're going to be able to play at a high level. You're not sure about that with Gardner Minshew. So. Uh, you, you, you just you go forward. You hope for the best. Uh, hopefully, this thing comes to a close and the Jaguars can get on the field. But it's going to be some time. It looks like Bruce. And, and let me ask you to put on your your hat as a high school football coach because I know there are a lot of high school athletes out there who are itching to get ready for what comes in the fall. What's your advice for them? Well, you know, my quarterback te te uh, texted me texted me yesterday and asked her about spring ball. And I, you know, a few kids have, have reached out. They want to get back on the field, but. Right now, it's, it, it, uh, as, as important as football is, uh, what's most important is that they stay healthy, they stay safe, um, and uh, football will be here soon enough. Uh, these kids are working out. They're looking forward to uh, you know getting on the field, of course. But first things first right now, I'm just encouraging them to be patient, take your time, be smart, and uh, we'll get this, you know, August will be around here. Before we know it, hopefully we, we, we can get on the field then. But right now, it's, it's, uh, uh, there's a different priority. Yep, that priority is safety. And Mark, you and the family stay safe as well.